My wooden spoon team this year is My Brownlow medal this year will be So I'm gonna back in for the Coleman medal in 2021. G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I'm doing my 2021 season predictions. I'm doing it on the solo, to be honest. The boys are very, very busy. They're all working class lads, and unfortunately, our schedules couldn't line up, so we can't do it together. So I'm gonna have to do it the way I did it in 2017 and just rock it alone. No doubt next year, we'll be back bigger and stronger than ever. All right, let's not waste any time. I'm going to predict my premiership team, and this year, I'm going the boys option by picking the Tigers. I usually like to see a dynasty dismantled. I think when the same teams win every year, it gets a little bit boring, but I have a soft spot for the Tigers, and I just get excited by the thought of them winning it again. I don't think there's many teams through the off season that I've seen put together a list that can compete with the Tigers. So I think it's theirs to lose. All right, let's get into my top four for 2021. Coming in on top is Geelong. Surely they don't slide backwards. All they've done is add to their list. And I can't imagine them doing any worse than they did last year. So to improve, they've just got to go up. Coming in number two, Brisbane. I think Brisbane have finished second the last couple of years in a row. I don't see them finishing on top, but I do see them finishing quite high. Coming in number three, it's the Tigers. I think if Richmond finished anywhere in the top four, it's theirs to lose. And once again, I think they'll just time their run perfectly and finish in the top four. And now fourth, I think it's up for grabs. I think a St. Kilda, a Western Bulldogs, a Port Adelaide, a Melbourne, and a West Coast could pinch four. But for me, I think Port Adelaide's probably my safest option. And I'm gonna go down the safe route for this prediction. My wooden spoon team this year is the Essendon Football Club. They had a ripping draft in 2020, adding Archie Perkins, Nicholas Cox, and Zach Reed. But I just feel they go down before they come back up. I think they're one draft away from having a really good youthful young list to be able to rebound back up the ladder. My rising star for 2021, in a hypothetical world where Matt Rowe doesn't get up and you have to choose someone from last year's draft. I was weighing up between Will Phillips, who looks like a ready-made midfielder, going to absolutely take the piss for the North Melbourne Footy Club. But I've landed on a bit of a different one. Watching the draft coverage, I got around Tanner Braun or Bruin. He's the Geelong Falcons lad who looked pretty cut to go to GWS, a real sort of non-emotional face from Tanner, but I just think he looks the goods. My Brownlow medal this year will be Jack Steele. Ripping season last year. It was cool to see him and Petrarca have a breakout year. I love the way he goes about it. He's captain of the footy club now. I believe Jack Steele can win the Brownlow medal. I've gone a little bit different with my rising star. I've gone a little bit different with my Brownlow medalist. Not too out of the realms of possibility, but certainly not your Neils, Cripps, Bonds. But I'm going to go very different with my Coleman as well. I think Joe Danaher going up to Brisbane will free up the eel. So I'm going to back in Eric Hipwood for the Coleman medal in 2021. And it's exciting for the Lions because that's a dangerous and flexible and exciting forward line. Both Eric Kitwood and Joe Danaher can be a little bit inconsistent, but you've doubled your odds by having both of them in there. Surely one of them can get off the chain each game. My surprise All-Australian for 2021 is going to be Zach Fisher for the Blues in the forward pocket. I love Zach Fisher. Been a big fan of Zach Fisher for a couple of years, and I loved watching him on the wing or that outside midfield sort of role. And I sort of want him to get back to that because I think he's really cool playing that outside winging role. And I think for any other team, he probably would be. But he's just slow it in really nicely in the forward line and he kicks goals for fun. His first game back last year, he kicked three or four goals in the first half and in the pracky matches, he was just snapping them over his head and just slotting them straight through the big sticks. So I'm backing in Zach Fisher to come out of the blue and break into the All-Australian this year in the forward line. A headline we'll see in 2021, Matt Rowe cracks 40 plus touches in his fifth game of footy. There's a lot of hype around Matt Rowe. It's, it's absolutely justified for the great man, but I can just see him coming out and I think he's played three games so I think maybe not round one but round two he's going to get off the chain and he's going to have an absolute day out at the office so I'm backing in Matt Rao 
to crack 40 plus touches very early in his career. Now that is it for my season predictions, but I want to address last year's season's predictions. Myself and Kuko made claims and bets at the start of the year that didn't get up. And since then I've been trying to fulfill the punishments. At the end of last footy season, I was trying to get a cricket player, but due to COVID and the lockdowns, it was impossible. And since the cricket season started, I was hitting up various BBL clubs, trying to DM some cricket players because I need to face six balls from a first class cricket quick. Once the big bash season finished, a cricketer has hit me up and we've been in talks. He is now playing Sheffield Shield at the moment. So I got to wait till his season finishes and hopefully it'll all line up. And I'll be working towards that over the next little bit. So bear with me, be a little bit more patient. Hopefully we can get those videos coming soon. Anyway, guys, a bit of a different season predictions video. Next year, we will get all the boys back in the same room. There's no doubt about it. But hopefully you didn't mind putting up with just me this year. I appreciate the support and I'll see you very soon for another video. Cheers. Man.